Yo, what is going on, Sexy Samuel Squad? Today we're here doing a ranked 1v1. I am playing Ishtar, and you know why I'm playing Ishtar. The World Championship just ended yesterday, and who would have thought? Who would have thought? The Kings won, dude. Not only, not only. Okay. Ishtar, shut up, please. Uh, not only did they win... But they didn't drop a game. The Kings went 2-0, 3-0, 3-0. That's, I mean, it's happened. I think it's happened before, right? But like, oh my God, that's just impressive, isn't it? A good and the reason that I'm playing Ishtar is because, um, well, obviously, she, was, she had a 100% pick or ban rate. Every single game played in the World Championship, and there was... Two, four, six, eight, eleven, sixteen. There was nineteen games played. She was picked or banned in nineteen games in a row at a pro level. So obviously, obviously, there's something about her. Like, that dude just tried to bop the shit out of me and I out-traded him. I don't really know how. Probably just minions. Probably just minions. Do I get this red? Are you being nice to me? Oh, you are being nice to me. Genuinely, genuinely happy about it. Uh, but... Yeah, 19 games in a row. 100% pick ban rate. And, uh... It's obvious to me... And it should be obvious to you that Ishtar is going to be played a lot in this upcoming month. Also, season 10 changes were absolutely ridiculous. They said, uh, what'd they say? 55 new items or 55 item changes, I should say. 55 items changed slash removed slash completely new items in the game there's games called demon blade now which is basically wind demon but a little better there's this there's this one item that goes in the katana tree that has 50 power seven percent move speed and some penetration on it and then when you get a kill you turn invisible for three seconds okay <laughs> i don't know man it's crazy they're like the, the game's gonna change and i'm excited for it now i don't know as always, duel is a little weird. It's always a little weird. But you know what I did see a lot in the SPL? Is, uh... Okay. Hold on. It's a... I saw a lot of, uh... Hebo jungle or, you know, normal... Normal dual mains that are jungling. And, uh... They went a dual build. So, I think it's not... It's not crazy to think that dual creates the meta for for builds in terms of like the highest DPS output. And um so I'm excited to see what what comes to dual specifically. Now, I, I know there was no new new dual map or anything. There was only a new conquest map. Um but I think we can still be excited about it. I think we can still be excited. I think there's going to be enough changes that you don't need a new, a specifically new dual map, right? Like I think with all the item changes and the fact that not only are there quote unquote item changes, but there's also, well, there's not quote unquote item changes. There is item changes, but there's also the, uh, the vision shard gets changed into little buffs that you can get. Like, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be so much more fun. I'm excited for it. Uh, but on top of all that, I know there's a lot of there's a lot of things I'm talking about in this video. Hello. You do the opposite of scare me. Dude, look at that burst. I can like focus wave for most of it. And then whenever I damn well please, I will give you my attention and kill you. But uh, until until I decide to kill you, you sit there patiently. All right. A good warrior always 
Okay. Bit of a weird play from him, but I'll take it. Um, but what was I talking about? I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, yeah, yeah. new announcement, basically. I've decided when I'm doing my next 24 hour stream. I know it's been a long time since I've done one. I think it's been four or five months. And I normally do one every two months. So first off, I apologize for the delay, but 24 hour streams do take, you know, a toll on my fat ass. So uh, <laughs> I decided to wait a little bit. But <clears throat> the next 24 hour stream, I should say it's a 12 hour stream. It's a 12 hour stream with a goal to become a 24 hour stream and then an additional goal to become a 48 hour stream. So it can be, it could, it could get pretty nuts. It could be pretty insane, but, um, it's going to be on January, not January. I'm straight lying to you. February 3rd, February 3rd, the first weekend of February, um, February 3rd is a Friday. It's going to be starting at 2 PM. 2 p.m. Eastern, so it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty exciting, man. Pretty exciting. I'm not sure of all the uh, all the things we're giving away. As always, you can expect about two to three thousand dollars given away, and um, a lot of fun, and also a lot of craziness. There's always it's always pretty insane those streams. So I'm excited to see what it, what it has in store this time. Yeah, I know. I, I haven't done a 24-hour stream in, in quite some time, so... Are you going to kick me? Because I have ult ready. I'll use my lob shot because he's hiding in minions. Okay, he shelled. Good try. Good try. Not bad. So I think the reason that Ishtar has played so much is because, well, one, her, her one or her one, 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 two, one, three, um, but her one and her sub abilities on that one are very strong. Like they're good for, for, for fighting. They're good for clearing. They're good for, um, for uh, long range poke, like there's just, she just has something in her kit for every scenario, which I think makes her very, very versatile, which is why she's picked a lot. And then on top of that, having a CC immune alt that you can move while casting is so good. So good. And if you haven't caught on already, I'm going to be doing the, uh, the build that they did in the SPL on Ishtar, which almost every game it was either... Uh, it was Death Toll and then Devil Gloves. Unfortunately, Death Toll doesn't exist in Duel, so uh, just Devil Gloves for me. And then there was a couple different builds. There was the Executioner and Kins and Silver Branch and Oboe. Obviously, they normally have Death Toll, like I said. Um, so I'll have to throw in my own six item there. Or there was the Crit build with Shadow Steel Shuriken, Wind Demon, and uh, Deathbringer. All right. He just ran. He just ran. I don't know why he has some magical defense. I guess it was his free item and it gives him a little bit of power. So he's not selling it. It makes sense. I suppose it makes sense. What does my three do? Just a lot of damage. Oh, you didn't get your blue. What's really, really good about ishtar and the one that she can do is that when you cancel it it's an immediate auto attack so like auto and then cancel and you can have two autos hit at the same time doing insane amounts of burst like with with only two items if i cancel my my one at the right second i can do over 400 damage in burst i don't know why i dashed myself into the wall there okay but you definitely definitely do not want this I have no mana I'm oom um, man it's fine it's fine uh, I could probably just take the tower but I don't think I'm going to have an issue taking the tower later in the game you know I'm 
I'm a... Uh, well, I'm a hunter. Let's just say it how it is. I'm a hunter, so towers don't matter to me. <laughs> but yeah, I'm super excited, man. I, like, season 10 looks super, super cool. The world championship, I gotta be honest, man. I know I wasn't there. Um, and I also didn't run for the Golden Bolts this year. But... It was probably the most fun world championships I've ever seen. Like, I watched every single match. Like, there wasn't a single match that I thought was lame. It wasn't a single match that I just initially was like, ah, that's lame. You know, like, the Ravens did really well against the Kings in round one. Obviously, adapting the GOAT as always. He'll never... Adapting will never not be my king. Like, I'm an OG player. I'm an OG player. Adapting is is the best to ever touch the game. You will never change my mind. Paul is the, easily the second best to ever touch the game. Paul's mechanical skill and positioning is ridiculous. Um, <clears throat> And then... Watching, watching Paul and adapting on the same stage. Oh, and then Twig versus Paul for the Worlds. When I have... I'm such a huge fan of Twig. Not only because we fight all the time, me and Twig in duel, but like I was on a team with him before. Um, I was a sub for a team that Twig was on before and he was always so nice to me. Like he's just so genuine. And he's, uh, it's just really cool. That's that Gilga's first mouse and keyboard game. He's from Xbox. Well, Ranked is going crossplay. He can stay on Xbox and still fight me. That's another thing, by the way. Another thing that they announced is that uh, Ranked is going full crossplay compatible. So I'm about to slap up some Switch kids in some uh, some videos to come. It's completely crossplay between PS5 or, or PlayStation in general, Xbox in general. Switch in general and PC. I don't know. I mean, it's definitely going to merge the player bases, which is a good thing for matchmaking. But uh, there's already a PC versus console like argument. And I feel like all it's going to do is bring toxicity. I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. But we'll see. Um, what else can I talk about? What, what, what other new shit happened? Oh, uh, I was doing a watch party on Twitch. Obviously, twitch.tv says same to do. It's right down there. You see it. The little purple icon. Um, and I averaged 500 viewers with no hosts, which is amazing. You do nothing. Bro, I do so much damage. I do so much damage. I didn't even get the oboe online and he just dies. I don't know. Uh, so my Twitch has been doing really well. And I, if you guys could please go over... Follow my Twitch channel, twitch.tv. So Sim, the dude, it's a link. There's a link in the description for it. Um, am I still MMR capped? I am still MMR capped. There's a link in the description for it. And I'm trying to get to 100,000 followers. Obviously, I'm doing this, you know, 24 hour stream that could potentially be a 48 hour stream. It could be pretty massive. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping to gain a, a bit of followers off that, but. You know, we're going for 100,000 at the end of the year. We are at 88,900. So we're almost at that 89,000 mark that we have to be at by the end of this month in order to maintain pace. Uh, so yeah, if you could follow it, you could watch. There's always really fun stuff that happens on the Twitch channel. I would appreciate it. I'm not going to be live today, unfortunately, because uh, my brother-in-law is flying in and he's going to he's gonna be here for a week. But um, his flight lands in the middle of where my stream time would be. So I'm not, I'm not going to be able to stream today, but I will be streaming Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday from noon to 6 p.m. Eastern. 
basically when my video goes up, you can expect my stream to be up for six hours. So, um, yeah, I hope to see you guys there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, y'all, peace.